Question and answer allows you to ask freeform questions about a single transcript or a group of transcripts. Before we start, make sure that you have a Assembly AI API key. If you don't have it already, just go to assemblyai.com and get your free API key to use with Lemur. First thing is, we're going to install the Assembly AI SDK if you don't already have it installed. Let me just clean this and then we can import the Assembly AI SDK and set our API key here. And then I'm going to create a transcriber object. And then create a transcript group using this transcriber. And I'm going to do this by passing it all the audios that I want transcribed. So for this one, we have example one and example two, that MP3. And these ones are videos of Casey Neistat. So if you don't know him, he's a famous YouTuber. Uh, it's, a, it's videos, two videos of Casey Neistat, or more specifically, the audios belonging to the videos of Casey Neistat, where he's talking about New York and the problems uh, he thinks that are about New York and how he feels about New York. Let's run this one. So now it is time to specify the parameters and inside the parameters, we will have questions. So let's set up the parameters first. So let's take a look at what kind of parameters there are again. So for the question and answer uh, endpoint, we need to pass transcript IDs. But like we said, the SDK automatically passes the transcript IDs. But if you're using Python or another language, so without the SDK, uh, you do need to pass the transcript IDs that you get from Assembly AI to Lemur. But because we're using the SDK, we do not have to do that uh, specifically. Um, we can pass a context to the question and answer um, endpoint. We can specify the final model, whether we want the basic model or the more advanced default model and the max output size, which by default is 2000 tokens. So you do not have to specify those, but you can if you like. One thing that we are required to pass, other than the transcript IDs, of course, are the questions, because this is a question answer endpoint. So we do, not, we do need to specify what questions that we're going to pass. So I will just for now call these questions and I will set up the questions here separately so it's easier to see. And if we want, we can also pass a context or I will also set up the final model to be the basic model. Well, let's define the questions here beforehand. So we can pass one or more questions to Lemur, but the way we pass the questions is not just by defining questions in a list of strings. What we're going to do is we're going to create a question object for each of the questions that we want to pass. And how we're going to define it is by saying assembly AI lemur question. And just like the actual question answer endpoint, each question also has some parameters that we can set. So if we go take a look here, we we'll see, we'll see that each question has a string that is the question itself. And then we can provide some additional context to this question. So like we said, each question answer endpoint request has a context that we can call a global context that applies all to all the questions that we're asking Lemur. And each question has its own context also that applies only to that question. So we can provide, uh, we need to provide the question in a string format. If you want, you can add context and you can also specify an answer format or you can specify answer options. But if you set answer format, you cannot set answer options. And if you set answer options, you cannot set answer format. So you need to de decide on one of them. But let's see an example of both. So maybe for the first one, I will set the question to be, does Casey miss California? And for that one, I will say answer options and I will set it to be 
either yes or no. So now the lemur model, so now lemur knows that it should answer this question either with yes or no. Let's set up another question. For this one, I will set the question to be, what is Casey's biggest problem? And this time, instead of answer options, I will set up answer format. And you can say whatever you want here, but I will just say short sentence. I just want to answer in a very short sentence. So here we set our question list. And now we can make the parameters dictionary using it. And now all we have to do is to get the results through the transcript group by calling lemur on it. And with lemur, we're going to call the question endpoint and we're going to pass our parameters. After that, we can print the response and the parameters. So let's take a look at the answers. Does it says, does Casey miss California? And the whole video, what he's talking about is how much he missed New York. That's why he left Cal uh, California. So the answer no is correct. And the second question is, what is Casey's biggest problem? And in the, another video that we also passed, he's talking about how it is so hard to travel around New York with his two daughters. And the answer here it says is getting around New York City with his two kids is difficult. Um, because that's the main idea behind that video. So the answers seem uh, correct, which is great. In the next video, we're going to see how to create action lists based on audio file or files using Lemur. Let's take a look.